Guys, I wanted to show you a little paracord trick, which might be handy for you to know. Just wanted to show you, this is how flexible this is now. You bend it, it stays bent. Okay. Now let me get this carabiner turned sideways. Okay, so this is some near boiling hot water. First thing you want to do is you want to make sure your braid's looking just the way you want because once it goes in the water, that's it pretty much. Okay. This is just goes in for a very short period of time and uh, doesn't take long. Oops, sorry about the finger. Okay. And that's what you get. Stiff. Like going like you poke it and now it wants to now what you want to do is of course you want to make sure your stuff stays straight if you want it to be straight. Right? So you know, if it goes in curved, you're gonna get a curve. If it goes in kinked, it's gonna get a kink. But uh, yeah, I don't want these super super tight, I just want them a little bit tighter. And what it does is it gives you that axe handle, you know? You put that baby in your fingers. Now you've got this nice thing that you can see, see how that see how that works. So not so stiff that it's uncomfortable, but just the right amount. Okay, little trick. That's what I'm going to be doing to every one of mine so that they're nice and tight and everything's really cinched up beautifully. I'm doing my best to get really nice, neat work out. Uh, but without spending forever on it. Paracord is one of those things that if you do it on your own, you know, you could spend three, four hours on something, redoing it, redoing it, redoing it. But if you just want to make a product to sell people at a reasonable price, man, you can't be doing that. So I'm doing as nice a job as I know how. I think they're coming out real nice. Uh, anyway, that's a little trick.